Hello, welcome to another video. Um, this one again will be um, a book review. Uh, me and my good lady Samantha uh, last weekend uh, went up to um, Inverness up in the north of Scotland in the Highlands of Scotland um, for a little weekend away. Um, uh, while we're there we obviously went to the um, uh, the battlefield of Culloden which if anyone gets the opportunity to go up there it's really really good. The visitor centre is excellent, uh, some great exhibits um, and the battlefield's largely um, untouched the the terrain certainly very similar um you you've got the option of um of uh the organized uh walk into us sort of every hour which are really good um uh, we did we've been before so we didn't do that um but it's a it's an excellent um excellent uh day out if you get the chance to visit it definitely worth a visit um while we're there there's a, a really excellent second-hand bookshop uh, in Inverness Town Centre, just next to the river, um, <clears throat> and then they have quite a good military section. So I had a, a look in there, and I've uh, I, I bought a couple of books um, that um, I'm sort of quite pleased with. Um, so this review um, will be on those books that I've bought. Um, we'll go down to the um, the desk now and have a look at them. Right, so as I mentioned in the introduction, me and my good lady were up at Inverness um, a little while ago at the beginning of uh, uh, of October. I think we went up, well, say the beginning, mid-October, about the 14th, something like that. Um, <clears throat> just for the weekend, um, obviously visited uh, the battlefield at Culloden. Ex really superb visitor centre there. Definitely worth a visit if anyone's up in that part of the world. Um and also in Inverness, we stayed in the um, the city centre. There's a really nice, uh, really good, impressive second-hand book shop. Um, it has a normally has a crack and selection of um, of military books, um, <clears throat> and obviously, me good lady uh, give us the okay to go and have a look. And was I wasn't there long, maybe it's half an hour. Had a good look. Got a couple of purchases. This one I haven't actually seen before. Uh, a captain's mandate. The reason I got it, it, it covers the British Army's involvement in Palestine after World War II, so 1946 to 1948, when the British mandate finished on Palestine. Um, the reason I picked it up, me, um, me old man was there uh, with the um, with the guards, with the Coldstream guards, uh, up to and including after the mandate finished in 1947. Um, there are a number of, uh, uh, there's not a great deal of book, number of books about it. There's um, quite a good one on um, uh, the parachute regiment's involvement there, um, uh, which I have a copy of. Um, and I saw this, as, as I say, I, I wasn't even aware of its existence. This guy, I think, was in the Welsh Guards, uh, and it covers the whole sort of um, uh, the conflict. Um, so... Again, haven't read this one, but I'm really looking forward to um, to plowing through it. Um, <clears throat> covers the whole thing. If people aren't, it was a lot more <clears throat> involved than uh, what people think. Obviously, the British Army, as normal, was in the centre, and you had um, the um, uh, obviously the um, Jewish resettlement from uh, from Europe after World War Two. Uh, and then there was issues with them uh, preventing uh, refugees coming ashore just because of the uh, the amount of um, the amount of people, and obviously you then had um, uh, the Jewish element, basically the Stern Gang, which was which was effectively a terrorist organisation, uh, were fighting the British as well as uh, the Arabs, and uh, it was the start of obviously the the ongoing saga and the Israel. Palestine conflict so um, I was quite um, interested uh, I'm really interested in the period with a view to possibly war game in it uh, at the sort of skirmish level um, interesting photograph here uh, that's actually Willie Whitelaw the uh, British politician uh, from the 70s and 80s photo from them there um, so that's why I picked it up uh, quite unusual to get books on this subject so I, I was quite taken with that um, the other one I got which I was uh, Quite impressed with is this tome here on one of my local regiments uh the durham light infantry um 
This was published, I think, in the early 60s, um, and it covers the Durhams from their formation right up to Korea. Um, obviously, I think it was written a little bit before the um, the uh, the government of the day decided that they would cut back on defence and get rid of a lot of the county regiments, and obviously the Durham Light Infantry morphed into, uh, was one of the many Light Infantry regiments that morphed into the 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 light infantry uh, as it was called um anyway this is um really i've i've heard about this book but i've never actually seen a copy um uh really good uh, it covers the sort of history throughout there's a large section on the great war there's some very tasty see if i can find one maps throughout the um throughout the text you can see the sort of uh, quality of them they're really um they're really nice. It covers, as I said, from sort of the, the um, well, pre from the formation right up through the Napoleonic Wars, um, the Boer War, all the way up through the 19th century, the Boer War, World War One, World War Two, and ends with Korea. However, when I was flicking through it, um, which is really unusual, there's this letter in the um, in the back, which was basically written in 1964. Um, from uh, a, a guy who lived quite local to me, Gosforth in uh, Newcastle upon Tyne, um, on about the um, uh, some local lads who were killed in World War One, and he's included um, a typewritten sheet of, uh, of the the casualties from uh, from this particular churchyard. Um, and it's just really nice, I think, to get something which has got um, this sort of quite personal uh, connection. Um, so I was I was really impressed uh, when I got this. The book was really sort of reasonably priced. Um, so uh, really good, um, really pleased with it. It's um, as I say, the um, the maps in it are, are this sort of '60s style, really nicely done. Um, so, uh, really, again, really, really looking forward to it. I like to get information, certainly on 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 local units, and obviously the Durham Light Infantry is very local to me. Um, so that's again another great purchase. So there were um, a couple of books I wasn't expecting to get, uh, and it's always nice uh, when that happens. Um, and I've got a very understanding wife as far as uh, military books are concerned. So. Uh, uh, I was really, I was really pleased. So as normal, any questions, uh, just shout up. I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed the video, um, please give it a thumbs up, uh, like it. Um, as normal, if you're not already a subscriber, um, have a think about subscribing. You can do that from the main channel page. Or alternatively, at the end of the video, in the bottom right hand corner, there's a small button with an Empress 28 millimeter British infantryman on. Click on that, and you're, uh, you're subscribed. Um, so this is the sketch. Um, I've preloaded some of the videos, so I think this one will be. Uh, what do you want now? All right. So this is probably going to be about um, maybe it's the end. Uh, maybe it's Halloween, thirty first of October. Maybe it's, um, if we haven't moved house by then, uh, it'll be absolutely super imminent. Um, so. Uh, once we get in and settled, we'll be back to the, the normal thing. But certainly in the meantime, uh, as I've said, we'll be looking at uh, book reviews, uh, rule reviews. If I get anything unusual military-wise, which I collect, uh, we'll maybe have a look at that as well. So uh, thanks very much for watching and, um, and we'll see you next time.